All right, investors, this time let's see how to undertake express technical and fundamental analysis for Taiwan Semiconductor. We will see how if the company is using its uh, capital efficiently, calculate the stock target price based on price income model, and then we'll define uh, the entry, entry exit point uh, by setting stop loss and the take profit and see the stock's gross potential. So let's start. First of all, we will start with the uh, Google Sheets. And now first thing we should do is we should uh, calculate, see how efficiently the company is using its capital. For that, we will be comparing the WAC and ROIC, uh, how efficiently it's using its attracted funds, I'm sorry. Uh, for that, we will be using the weighted average cost of capital and return on investment capital. We'll be comparing the company. First, let's input the stock ticker, which is TSM, TSM. And now uh, we are calculating uh, the data. It's calculated using the financial modeling prep uh, data. I will put the link on the description on how to register with FMP and set up your Google Sheets for further analysis. If you want to build the same table, you can look at my previous videos. I will also put the link in the description section. So uh, once we input the stock ticker, we see the weighted average cost of capital. It's the cost for attracted funds, probably debt, uh, bonds and uh, stocks, 971. And return on invested capital, how much the return is com company is generating on its attracted funds. It's a borrowed money as well as the equity. It is 18% and ROIC to WAC ratio is 186. That's good. That means the company is generating return on its attracted funds uh, because ROIC is higher than the WAC ratio. The next thing we can look at is the target prices. As you can see, there is a range high, uh, low target price. We should look at the consensus target price, which is 100. 83 and you should also look at the analyst target prices pay attention to the recent target price updates from from the analyst these are more relevant updates and you can also see what are their target prices and as well as analyst name and the investment company so the next step would be as we've seen that it's using its capital efficiently you can compare it to its closest peers also and choose the stock with the highest ROIC to WAC ratio in comparison to its closest peers. You can do it yourself. The next step would be to calculate the stock's target price using the uh, price income model, very simple model. I will put the link uh, to the article where you can calculate it yourself. So simply input the stock ticker over here in the symbol. It is TSM, TSM. TSM. And now everything is calculating. If you're interested in building this table, I will put the link to the video in the description as well. So we have the stock market price of 205. Remember from the previous section, we've seen that the consensus price is 183, uh, which is below the market price, which means that the stock is currently overvalued based on the investment analyst stock target price calculations, but also based on the recent target prices, the stock is almost fairly valued. Uh, it doesn't have a growth potential, significant growth potential. It means that the stock target price is almost equal to stock uh, market price, which indicates that the stock is currently fairly valued. So now let's calculate the stock target price ourselves using this very simplified model. So already we inputted the stock ticket here and we have the financial ratios for uh, the TSM company. The next step would be to find the closest peers among um, TS, uh, TSM's closest peers. For that, we will be using financial modeling prep uh, data point. As you can see, here is an apple. I will put the link on the description to this um, API endpoint as well. All you have to do is register with FMP, obtain your custom API key, and then you should go to the um, address bar in your browser and uh, simply replace the stock ticker from Apple to TSM. And now you see TSM's closest peers. It's Intel, NVIDIA. Let's copy the name over here to the Excel spreadsheet. Uh, we have NVIDIA. The next peer is INTC, Intel. INTC. 
buy NTC, it's Intel shares. And as you can see, the formula is already recalculating, extracting financial ratios for the company. Now the next step would be, let's uh, put a few more. That's the stock ticker, let's copy it over here. And one more, it is comparing the financial ratios with the closest peer, with the financial ratios of its closest peers. And now we extracted all the financial ratios and the formula recalculates everything, uh, calculates the coefficient, multiplies it by market price, and we get the stock target price, uh, which is very, very high based on the closest peers. Let's investigate this further, what happened. Mm. Yeah, probably that there is a big variance because we've taken the smaller competitors from the list. We can replace them with uh, larger competitors. Let's take AMD shares. Yes. And let's take this one. It is indicating 3,669, which is 1,600% growth potential uh, from the current price. This is very high coefficient. Mm -hmm. That's because of this ratio probably. Let's investigate and see what happened here. that's because of the net income uh, per share ratio. You can substitute this ratio by another coefficient, by another thing to make this number look representative because now it's not uh, very realistic. And to make it more realistic, you can substitute this coefficient. Let's take another coefficient here. Let's compare it to the book value per share or maybe even uh, something lower to make it more representative. Do we have the price price to earnings ratios? Yes, we do have. So let's take enterprise value to operating cash flow. I don't think we have it over here. Yes, operating cash flow is very important. It shows how much the cash flow is net cash flow the company is generating from its main business. Let's take and uh, enterprise value. Where was that? enterprise value to operating cash flow. Let's take this one. And now we copy it right over here. We get the ratio of 17. Let's double check it. Yes, 17. And now we should do the same thing for the closest peers. Uh, basically, what we are doing, we are calculating the averages for enterprise value to operating cash flow. Let's find it here, this one, this, this is the ratio. So we will remove all the data from here because now we're comparing with the new data, enterprise value to operating cash flow. And now we will take the averages among closest peers, like here, using the average formula. And now we have 64, now this number looks more representative. So in this case, we're having the stock target price of 228 and gross potential 11%. This number now looks more realistic. And if you have situation like me, you simply replace one financial ratio with something that looks more or less realistic because in our case, our first variable like this net income to uh, 
per sh uh, net income per share trailing 12 months looked too high in comparison to its closest peers and it didn't give us representative picture so in this case we will be competing with other ratios which are more or less close to closest peers to reflect picture more accurately and now we are having the stock target price equals to 228 with this model you have to be very careful and pay attention to this uh, thing so Sometimes you have to replace ratios. Sometimes you can have five, 15 ratios. It depends on you. That's the only assumption. Um, I mean, there are a few assumptions first regarding these ratios, what ratios you should use. And second, regarding these weights, as you can see in this video, I've put equal weights to uh, all the coefficients, but if you consider, uh, for example, return on equity more important to you, then you assign more higher weight to this ratio, but then lower rates to other ratios because some of all those ratios should be equal to one. That's how you undertake uh, stock target price calculation using this model, and then you will have the lower probability for a mistake if you do this accurately and use ratios tailored to your company and also pay attention to huge variances like we had here if you have huge variance in competition to close peers better replace this ratio to reflect picture accurately as we did right now so based on our assumption the stock has 11 percent gross potential which is not bad and not good you can find stocks that look better uh, both based on the rock white ratio and based on the gross potential as well because the company looks fairly valued based on the consensus target price and has 11 percent based on our custom assumptions and um, very simple price income valuation model so the next step let's dive into technical analysis for this year for technical analysis we will be using the trading view website but you can use your brokerage account for doing that basically input the stock ticket here tsm launch the chart and now you see the graph uh, pay attention to the daily uh, means which can which candle represents the uh, uh, daily trading uh, high low and as well as the daily trading range this candle can identify the correction uh, again you can use the stocks to buy ios application that analyzes the candles and provides you the short-term trade recommendations i will put the link to the description you simply input the stock ticker and then it analyzes the last uh, candles it is using the five minute trading intervals so it's good each five minutes you should monitor and use this application and when you input the stock ticker in the stocks to buy application it has the screen for analyzing candles it will show you analysis based on candle patterns and will provide you trade recommendations short-term trade recommendations uh, to sell buy uh, or buy stock or it will show you indifference i mean if if the traders and investment analysts are not sure where the stock price can go it can show you both directions but majority of times based on candle analysis stocks to buy ios app it shows you the trade direction either to buy or sell the share you can check it out but this time we're not using it we will be using this uh, simple chrome extension which is called stock analyzer i'll put the link on how you can download this extension as well after you install this extension simply input your custom api key which you obtain upon registering with fmp financial modeling web then input your stock ticker which is tsm and press the calculate button now it is showing you the target price calculated using the dcf um, equity valuation model with conservative assumptions i will put the link on how to calculate stock target price using this model in the description section section this would be the article if you're interested you can read as well uh, but now we are, are not uh, looking into this the current price is 205 which indicates that the stock is overvalued based on this model with very very conservative assumptions but now we are paying attention to stop loss and take profit let's say you bought this share even though it looks fairly valued based on analyst and overvalued based on this uh, uh, this model and has slight gross potential based on our simple valuation model which we did right now Mm, but you should uh, of course take averages for example here 72 we calculated uh, 211 i guess um, and the average analyst estimate is around 200 so you should take average among these numbers and say that it's your average target price for the stock and see if the stock looks overvalued or undervalued 
But now let's see, let's say you bought the stock at the current level. Uh, the point at which you sell with the loss is 185. Let's say you bought the share and if the share goes beyond this level, you are selling, you are not getting more losses. And if the stock goes beyond this level, you're selling with profit. You don't want to gain more profits because there would be high risk that the stock can bounce and go lower. So 236 would be our price where we sell with uh, profit and 185 would be point where we sell uh, at loss. So these are two points as see uh, the stop loss is very close because of this candle. So if the stock goes here and goes beyond this line, we are selling with loss. And if it goes over here and breaks this line, we will sell with uh, profit. Also compare it to the support and resistance level. But I guess in this case, the uh, resistance level is very close to our stop loss. So this uh, means that if the stock uh, bounces from here we're not selling but if the stock goes lower of this resistance level you see this is the resistance level uh, technically speaking over here and this, if the stock goes lower than this line and also lower than our stop loss level then we sell this with uh, loss because there is a high probability that was the stock will keep its downside trajectory and now if the stock will go upwards and breaks this line, we will sell with profit. That's how you can establish stop loss and take profit. By doing this, you will get, if the stock will keep rising, you will get 15% return, almost 15%. And if the stock will be falling from the current level, your loss will be around 9%, which is not bad for such a volatile stock. It uh, makes sense to hold it for a while and then it can bounce back and go even higher. So thank you so much for watching this video. Now you know where you should sell with loss and profit and or which is the stock's fair value and if the company is using its capital efficiently. Thank you very much for watching this video.